When I woke up and I couldn't hear, it was life changing because absolutely everything in my world crashed. I couldn't do anything like I used to be able to. I couldn't watch the TV, I couldn't listen to the radio, and I couldn't use a telephone. So all the ways that I used to communicate just stopped overnight. After suddenly losing her hearing, Michelle relied on her family for support with many everyday tasks. Now with bilateral cochlear implants, she has gained back her independence and freedom and enjoys her active lifestyle. A cochlear implant is a hearing device that helps deaf people hear sounds again. Inspired by this video, you would find new and expressive ways to use the words you already know to explore your thoughts. Reading practice for speaking. Read silently or aloud, as if you were telling it to someone else. Audio will be without repetition, with a brief pause between each chunk or sentence. When I woke up and I couldn't hear, it was life changing because absolutely everything in my world crashed. I couldn't do anything like I used to be able to. I couldn't watch the TV, I couldn't listen to the radio, and I couldn't use a telephone. So all the ways that I used to communicate just stopped overnight. When I woke up, and I could not hear. It was life-changing. Because absolutely everything in my world crashed. I could not do anything like I used to be able to. I could not watch the TV. I could not listen to the radio. And I could not use the telephone. So all the ways that I used to communicate just stopped overnight. Days after she lost her hearing, it was very scary for the family because we didn't know what was going on. She could generally just hear and she relied on us. So we had to communicate for her. She couldn't talk on the telephone, which was what her business relied on. And that was very scary for her because she cried and stuff like that. And it made me and dad feel very sad and I think it made her feel isolated. Days after she lost her hearing. It was very scary for the family.
because we did not know what was going on. She could generally just hear. And she relied on us. So we had to communicate for her. She could not talk on the telephone. which is what her business relied on. And that was very scary for her. Because she cried and stuff like that. And it made me and dad feel very sad. And I think it made her feel isolated. Her relationship between um, Sam and herself has always been very close. Um, for her suddenly not to be able to hear um, what Sam had to say um, affected her every day and, and, and she relied on asking me um, and, it, and learning to lip read in, in that kind of a hurry, as a small child doesn't slow down their thought process, they just speak. And so most communication in the early days had to be relayed through me, which made her feel um, very isolated. And it was the isolation we felt was the biggest effect of hearing. The relationship between Sam and herself. Has always been very close. For her suddenly not being able to hear what Sam had to say. affected her every day. And she relied on asking me. And learning to lip read in that kind of a hurry. A small child does not slow down their thought process. They just speak. So most of the communication in the early days had to be related through me. Which made her feel very isolated. And it was the isolation we felt. That was the biggest effect of hearing loss.